I've already shuffled. And I also pulled two oracle cards for your recent past. There are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then I'll go through the present time, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why this is all happening. So Aries in the recent past, we have love yourself first. And this card reads, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So, love yourself first is paired with patience. And on the flip side of patience, it reads, trust in divine timing. Your future holds something far greater than your past. So, basically, these two cards for your advice, it's about, um, not your advice, I'm sorry, not your advice, but this is your recent past. Okay, so, for your recent past, love yourself first in present and patience. Oh, I'm getting everything twisted. I'm tongue-tied. I'm sorry. Okay. In the recent past, you probably could have been in a relationship um, that was possibly, it looks like in this picture, I'm trying to pick up on the energy of this picture. They could have been in a relationship that was ending. And you needed to uh, love yourself after this ending and it would have made you more romantically attractive to others. So something ended in the recent past and you probably your self-esteem was down. It was at a low. So you needed to pick yourself back up and you would have drawn in uh, uh, you would have drawn in something that was better for you because we have this patient, patience card. It was all about divine timing and uh, looking towards the future because something much greater was out there for you, something greater than your past. But you had to pick yourself back up from something, from a relationship that possibly ended. And maybe you were holding on to your past. So you needed to figure out how to love yourself again. Yeah, because you were probably, looks like you were probably really connected to this person. It was probably a deep, soulful relationship. But it looks like you might have needed to let it go, or you did let it go. And once you did that, uh, you opened yourself up to something greater than what you had. And it made you, um, once you gained your self-respect back, it made you more attractive to others. So that's what happened in the recent past for you, Aries. Or that's probably what you should have done. Loved yourself first and then patience, gave it time. And it would have brought you to something that was greater than what you were holding on to in your heart. So once again, that's the recent past. Let's move on down. Let's take a look at the present time. We have Page of Cups and Hangman. Now, the Page of Cups, it's about a need to dream, play, have fun. It could sometimes mean that you have been taking yourself really too serious, far too serious. You probably heard the saying that the one thing that... Um, you've probably learned over the years is the difference between taking your work seriously and taking yourself seriously. The first is important and the second is a disaster if you take yourself too seriously. When this page of cups talks about love and relationships, uh, a younger person, because the page is about youth, a younger person or 
younger by a few days. They could be a part of your love scenario. Just remember, love does not know age. Don't discount people who are younger than you. Or don't discount people who are younger purely on that basis. Because this card, when it talks about love, it can mean that someone is about to sweep you off your feet. And they could be younger than you, so you might want to give them a chance. This page of cups is paired with the hangman. Now the hangman is about being at a crossroads. One with only two options, so to say. In or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea of what it is or how to do it. Now, keep in mind, if that does happen, it's a clear signal that you should stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life, situations, people, and things. It's possible that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. Because any sacrifice that you make at this time is going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. All in all, with this hangman, it should be a thoughtful, reflective time, especially if you're willing to work at it or how you might best serve your own interests by being willing to change. When the hangman talks about love and relationships, it's about letting go, possibly letting go of an unattainable lover. For example, will bring about the possibility that someone that you can be with will be there for you. But that's only one example. You may need to let go of a particular vision of the kind of relationship as being the only way you can be happy. If you're in a long-term relationship, it could be at a crossroads. If you think the relationship is fabulous, be sure to find out where your partner's head is. So basically for your present time, Page of Cups and the Hangman, uh, you're probably feeling like you're at a crossroads. So you don't know if you should let it go. Should you stay? Should you go in? Should you go out? Should you go up or down? Uh, you may need to let go of a thought or a, a way of thinking as, its own, as it being the only way. It's an outdated attitude that you need to may, may need to let go of. That could be it too. So you could be thinking about letting go of something, a situation, a person. And there's a need to um, feel like a kid again. Yeah, with this page of cups. Um, there's a need to be happy again. Uh, this hangman, it's, it's got you feeling uh, tied and bound. It's got you confused. So there's a need to play, dream, and have fun. Be, be kind of childish again because it's really... I don't know if you can see the picture of this hangman, but he's... He's... Um, a, he's... <laughs> caged in on a tree and that's not a good feeling so uh, you might want to let go of something so that you could free yourself yeah but right now you don't know what you should do but when you do find out you probably will jump for joy you know you'll feel really relieved and you'll you, there's going to be a need to play dream and have fun and you're going to feel that very strong once you come to some type of conclusion. Maybe let go of an outdated wish or way of thinking. It's going to uh, feel like you've been released. So it's going to bring about a playful energy. So that's what we have for your present time. Now, the person you're dealing with in this connection, let's take a look at how they see you. They see you as the Ace of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Cups is a very, very positive card in the tarot. 
It's about love, happiness, and a whole lot of affection. It's also about new beginnings. And although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in all aspects of your life. Things are looking up. People will respond to you with love, happiness, goodwill at this time. More than usually. More than usually. With this Ace of Cups. You'll be feeling good about life overall. Life in general. This is a great time to make friends. When it talks about love and relationships. Uh, either an existing relationship is going to take a turn for the better, a deeper level of understanding or commitment, or almost any important aspect of a relationship. It's going to feel like a new encouraging start. And if there are some um, single Aries out there listening, and you get this Ace of Cups, a new relationship is likely to appear soon. And now, this is also how the person you're dealing with, this is how they view you, Aries. They view you as, as happiness, love. They view you as wanting a new, be a new beginning. That's how they see you. They see you in a positive way. Um... Like I said, this Ace of Cups is one of the most powerful cards in the tarot when it comes to love, happiness, and affection. So, this is good because they see you as a new beginning or, they, or wanting a new beginning. They're encouraged. They see you encouraged by this connection. And it feels good. They have good feelings about how they see you. And because it's with the Six of Pentacles, uh, the Six of Pentacles is about happiness. Generous, fair, and balanced connections in the, in the relationship for at least a while. It's about allowing your partner to give to you, whether it's material or spiritual. And at the same time, make sure you're doing your fair share of giving. If you're single and you get the Six of, of Pentacles and you're looking for a relationship, this card, it's about possibly meeting someone new. And this person, they'll be positive, kind, and generous. They may come about by way of introduction, Aries, from someone you know. So make sure you let people know that you're looking for a partner if you're single, when you get the Six of Pentacles. So, back to how they see you, the person you're dealing with. Like I said, they see you as happiness, love, and affection, and new beginnings. Positive new beginnings. That's how they see you, and because it's with this Six of Pentacles, it's also good. They see you as prosperity. So they see you as, um, as this connection turning for the better if there was any problems. Um, they see you as giving to this connection receiving in this connection they see you as helpful to them and very generous to them so this is good how they see you Aries now let's move on down and let's take a look at how you see them you see them as eight of wands and temperance So the Eight of Wands is about things being up in the air. You could be frustrated, tired of waiting. This card is about having to wait a while longer. Because as you can see, the Wands are going up. And they don't look like they're coming down anytime soon. Okay, so it's about waiting. Playing the waiting game. 
You probably have done all that you can do. Now decisions must be made by other people when you get this card. Nothing seems to be moving ahead. Don't try to force things because they'll backfire on you if you do. Sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrists. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. You put your best out there now, now you just have to wait. When the Eight of Wands talks about love, relationships, you're probably feeling ready for a commitment but doesn't seem to be forthcoming. Again, don't push someone before they're ready because you cannot get your needs met by force. Distract yourself if necessary and your partner, your person, they may be back to you before you know it, offering you the love you've been hoping for on a silver platter. So this is how you see them. You see the person that you're dealing with in this connection as possibly wanting to communicate. They want to talk. But for some reason it's not getting off the, it's it's off the ground, but it's not coming in. Okay, yeah, it's off the ground. As you can see, it's in the air, whatever it is. So they possibly want to come forward, but they, it's just taking forever. That's how you see them. And because it's with this temperance card, before you can have peace and wisdom in your relationships, you need to have peace with yourself. The temperance card is about finding... Um, balance in yourself and your relationships taking um, a look at some deep personal issues and see if they're standing in the way so that's how you see them as needing to find balance so that could be why things are just up in the air right now because you see them as needing to deal with possibly some deep personal issues with temperance temperance coming up in the reading yeah, possibly forgive themselves and let go of some things so that the relationship or connection can move forward. And that's why it's still up in the air. Okay, so it's, just, it's all about waiting. And that's how you see them, Aries. Now let's move on over and take a look at why it's all happening. We have the World card and the Eight of Swords. Now the world card is about completion. You've worked hard and you're almost to the finish line. So don't quit now because you're really close. You're closer than you think. You're almost in need of some rest and relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it at this time. You're getting closer, really closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. In terms of work, it's a good chance that you're working far too hard for far too little recognition and money. It's important if this is the case to blow your own horn. Toot your own horn and make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments when you get this world card. When it talks about love and relationships, if you travel during this time period and you're in the market for a relationship, you could meet someone while you're away. This will be true even if you travel locally not very far away so don't be afraid to talk to strangers at this time if you've been in a committed relationship for some time you're likely to find it rising to new and better heights with this world card things in the love department should be quite interesting but in a really good way and that's why it's all happening because something is finally completed Something has come to full circle. Something is, is closed out. The cycle has, has finished. In a good way. Very interesting good way. So now this connection is at its deepest levels. It's trying to work at a deeper level because something is finally, finally closed out. This could be with you, your person, or maybe the both of you. And it's with this Eight of Swords. Now the Eight of Swords, as you can see in the picture, 
uh, someone could be holding back because they fear moving into the future or because they're afraid of getting hurt by this connection. As you can see, the man in this picture, he's got these eight swords surrounding him. And he's trapped in his head. And there's a fire behind him, and he's not moving. So he's, someone is stuck in their head. But the truth of the situation are probably much less frightening than someone is making it out to be. So, there's a need for reevaluating the relationship at this time. Someone could be sticking in this relationship because um, they figure it's better than nothing, or sticking with this connection uh, that's bad for them. But somebody's stuck in the head about something. And it's causing a lot of anxiety. Yeah, it's causing a lot of a lot of anxiety. You can see in this picture. It, this picture says it all. But something has completed. It's happening because something has completed. Now somebody could be just afraid. They finished a the cycle maybe with the past person. The, or they finished something. Something has completed. Now they, they fear. Someone has some fear about moving into this connection or moving forward. They could just be afraid of getting hurt by you, Aries, or you by them. And it's causing a lot of panic. But somebody is stuck in their head. And that's why it's all happening. Something's completed. And now it's causing a lot of fear. So Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading. There'll be a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I thank you so much for watching. If I don't get a chance to do the extended, there's always a link for personal readings in the description box. So I hope you once again enjoy the reading. I hope March is a wonderful month for you. I hope you're enjoying 2020. If you get a chance, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. I just want to say also I hope that you're having a great day and thank you so much for watching. Watching. Watching.